Hello everyone, it's Ben Frenzy, and today I have a LEGO News video, and it is of the UCS, or to be more accurate, MBS Moss Isley Cantina set. I really like the Moss Isley Cantina. It's super nostalgic, nostalgic to LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga, and it is also very cool and unique place in a while ago, I actually made a top 5 UCS and MBS Star Wars set ideas list, and Moss Eisley was actually on it, so that was a very cool thing to see my idea come to life. But anyways, I'll link that video in the description, but for now, let's get right into the set pictures and talk about some stuff. Here is the picture revealed by lego and i couldn't find their the original page where this was posted but this is on brick set and that explains the like, widescreen symbol at the bottom right corner sorry about that this is going to be one of the mbs sets personally i think mbs sets are the same as ucs sets but lego doesn't want people complaining that, that about playset type UCS sets, even though I think they most certainly can have play features in them. Like the Sand Crawler is a really good example of a popular UCS set that is very good for play. The set number for this set is 75290, and I think the piece count reads 3,187 pieces. Now, we don't know yet what the price is going to be, but I think it's going to be $350 personally. Best case scenario, $250, and worst case scenario, um, $400. But again, that's just my guessing. The first thing I want to zoom in on and take a closer look at is actually the roof of the cantina and Ryan from Emmendar Productions also had this idea which helped me form my thoughts on this and it is that this is going to be able to give the cantina some easy access. It will most likely open up this, this building will be able to open up and we do not know what the interior is going to look like though. We can imagine based off of what we saw in A New Hope. I also want to point out this side build, which isn't too big, but is a very nice addition considering how much this set will most likely cost, and it's pretty cool. I wonder where Obi-Wan's hut is going to connect to all of this, if it connects it at all, which is pretty likely. Anyways, this is a pretty nice build, and I'm looking forward to see what it has to offer once we get better pictures of this set. This part shows a good amount of the figures in this set. I'm not going to go through all the figures in this set. There's about 21 of them, I think. I don't know all of their names, so sorry about that. It's like the main characters, though. Han Solo, Luke, Obi-Wan, Chewbacca, R2, and C-3PO. There are also two Sand Troopers, which I completely expected and a hologram piece and very very satisfied that the imperial spy is in this set another nostalgic person from the lego stars the complete saga game is hoping that he would be in this set and he is so that's awesome oh and there's greedo completely forgot about him but as you know he's expected also the pod thing which was in the last moss ice set Nice addition. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. I'm very uneducated about Moss Eisley. I know that this is a bit of a blurred picture. It's the best I can do with the official picture Lego has showed us. It is, I, according to Ryan, the Lars's speeder, and it's a pretty nice build. Apparently, we haven't gotten it before, so it's a nice thing to have. The last thing I wanted to point out was that there are the three musicians, there's more of them, it would be nice to get them all, but three isn't like a ripoff, so I'll take it. There's also a do-back, not completely sure if it's the one from 2014 or whenever, that, the biggest Moss Eisley set before this one. That's it for my thoughts on the set, really, really excited for it, and we haven't even seen everything, the, the interior and the play features and stuff like that. The minifigures excite me, particularly Greedo, who I have not ever had before, and the Imperial Spy. I highly doubt I am going to get this set on 
release not because there's anything wrong with it it's just that i just got the ucs death star and the considering it's the death star i guess my debit card is alderon in that situation <laughs> but anyways yeah i just got a ucs set i do have a decent amount of money left not enough to get this set for however much it costs and i don't want to like it to like kind of like make the Death Star less special to me and also have to buy the Luke's Land Speeder and Obi-Wan's Hut that came out this year so I can have those with this set. Again, as of right now I have nothing against this set. I guess the the interior is very lacking, which I doubt, or this set is very overpriced. So like the only issues I can see with this set, but what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Will you get this? Will you wait? Will you just forget it ever exists, etc. And thanks for watching. I'll be sure to check out my Razor Crest rant video, which had a lot of fun making. Also, if you want to see every LEGO Retired theme pretty much ever come back, then watch my video of the promoting this project made by Tian and Bricks of on lego world builders i'll link both of those in the description also remember to subscribe wash your hands and have a great day